Hello and welcome to Cloth 101. In today's video, I'm going to just start at the very beginning and tell you why cloth diapers are a good idea. Now, this is often viewed as a parenting choice and wait, I take that back. This is a parenting choice. Um, I know a lot of, there's a lot of um, mommy wars out there about uh, about cloth or disposable or whatever. I'm not gonna address any of that. I'm just gonna give you some facts from the research that I have done and tell you the reasons why people will cloth diaper and also discuss the reason why we decided to cloth diaper. And I just also wanna start out by saying the obvious that if you choose to use disposable or cloth or this brand of disposable, or this brand of cloth, I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm kind of over that. Um, I just, it just doesn't matter to me what you choose to do. I'm just going to tell you about uh, some facts here and what we chose to do and why. So there are two main reasons why people cloth diaper. The first one is just the cost. That's just kind of the first obvious thing that comes to my mind. I think that cloth diapers are more of an investment they are more expensive up front. There is no getting around that. They are going to be more expensive up front, but the cost savings in the long run are amazing. Now, I have quite a few friends that I've met since becoming a mom that are coupon rock stars. Like, I can't even. The, the diaper deals they get are amazing. And so I say hats off to them. <laughs> I don't have the time or really the desire to bargain hunt. I know some people really like that. I just don't get into it. Um, yeah, I like to save money, but there's only so much work I'm going to put into it and that's how it goes. So what I did was I went on Amazon, Amazon mom, and I'm counting free shipping and uh, just kind of found an average for disposable diapers. And, and I'm just using this as an example. Of course, uh, prices can be higher or lower depending on where you shop, but I just did an average here. And what I chose was Pampers Swaddlers size three. And in this package for 162 diapers, you pay $46.49, which comes down. <laughs> If you're potty training between, I'm sorry, if you're diapering between two and three years, that's between $1,602.25 and $2,343.20. And okay, so that is the cost to diaper one child. Um, can be anywhere between $1,600 to $2,300 for three years per child. And just multiply that times how many kids that you have, okay, because you can't reuse the disposables compared to cloth. And I'm gonna go with uh, Bum Genius, which is a very, very readily available um, diaper brand that's easy to get. Um, Babies R Us, Bye Bye Baby, online boutiques, um, brick and mortar boutiques. And we're gonna say Bum Genius Pocket Diapers, which is the most majority of what we use, are about $17.95 each, 18 bucks each. And if you have 30 of those, that's gonna cost you $538.50. If you wanted to go the more expensive route and get 30 Bum Genius all-in-one diapers, and those are about $19, $20 each, that's gonna cost you $598.50. And if you go the cheaper route, which is a great way to go, because I've, I've done this too, five flip brand covers, which is made by Cotton Babies, who also makes Bum Genius, and 24 pre-fold diapers, that is gonna be approximately $100. And the thing is you wash these and reuse them over and over and over. So you could diaper two children, not including accessories, we'll get to that in a minute, for as little as $100 or for as little as five, or as much as $598.50. Now there are diapers that go for 20, 30, 40, 
yeah, a lot more expensive, but that just gives you an idea. Now there are obviously some accessories that you do need to get when you are cloth diapering, and I'm just gonna list a few of those here. Uh, your laundry detergent is gonna be between 10 and $15. In my experience, our laundry detergent lasts a really long time just because you don't use a lot of it. And so I'm guessing in about uh, two to three years of cloth diapering, you're spending maybe about $100, $150 in detergent. Wet bags, you buy them once and hopefully you don't have to replace them, but I'm gonna estimate that to be about 30 bucks. Uh, a diaper sprayer, which is not necessary, but awesome, is about $25. A diaper pail, if you get a nice you know, trash can, maybe about 15 bucks. And the pail liners that, again, you wash and reuse, about $40. And so that makes cloth diapering with the diapers and the accessories as low as about $310 and as much as a little over $800. And that's reusable, you guys. <laughs> that's amazing. You can cloth diaper however many kids you have for that amount. Now I have had to replace some diapers. I have repaired a lot of diapers. Um, I actually do not know how much we have spent in the almost four years of cloth diapering, but I would say it's probably about $1,500 to cloth diaper both of our boys exclusively. And we probably have about a year left in cloth. So that's my estimation. Now, a lot of people uh, use the argument of cloth diapering is not, uh, is not cheaper because of your water bill and all the washing. Okay, we have HE machines today that can, that can obviously wash with a lot less electricity and a lot less water. And if you think about it, if you have, you know, 30 plus diapers, you're only going to be doing laundry twice a week, two extra loads a week. That's it. So it doesn't have to be some big expense when it comes to the washing. Now, certain parts of the country, that could be different. Um, you know, drought regions, you know, I don't know. People hand wash them in third world countries and disposable diapers a lot of times are not even available in third world countries. So it is doable for anybody. So I hope that helps you get an idea of the of the cost effectiveness of cloth diapers. Just an idea. Again, these numbers can vary, but I just gave you some numbers based on my research. Number two reason why a lot of people do cloth diapers is for the environmental um, impact of disposable diapers. And I have from a couple of resources here, and I can link all of these below and more, um, from hooksorfact.com, uh, disposable diapers, they estimate this, 550 years to decompose. Now again, we have no idea exactly how long because none of us have been around that long and disposable diapers haven't been around that long, but based on their scientific research and the, the properties of a disposable diaper, that's their estimation. Yahoo Answers, which, you know, whatever, 500 years to uh, decompose, and the Real Diaper Association says 250 to 500 years for a disposable di diaper to decompose. However, they also say, we really don't know, but that's, that's the best guess. And as far as cost for, uh, for our country, in 1988, $300 million was spent annually to discard disposable diapers. Um, disposables have, are the third largest single consumer item in landfills. Uh, dis disposable diapers generate 60 times more solid waste and use 20 times more raw materials like crude oil and wood pulp. There's actually bits and pieces of that in the diapers. And also over 300 pounds of wood, 50 pounds of petroleum feedstocks, and 20 pounds of chlorine are used to produce disposable diapers for one baby each year. One baby each year. That's crazy <laughs> to think about. And a big reason why a lot of people don't do the disposable diapers is because they do contain dioxin, which is something that is used in bleaching the diapers, making them white. And we're one of the only countries where dioxin is actually not banned. And from what I understand, dioxin is a carcinogen. However, the amounts of dioxin in your disposable diapers are so minuscule, honestly, I don't worry as much about that. But the fact that there can be a carcinogen that we put that close to our little kids' special area, 
Um, I know that that bothers a lot of people. And there is a third reason why people cloth diaper and it's because they are so freaking cute. Oh my goodness, all of the patterns, the colors, I'm not gonna lie, whenever I see my boys walking around and they've got a big fluffy cloth bum, it is the cutest thing ever. And I was more into it that with Caleb and him matching his diaper to his clothes, yes, I would do that. Now with Brayden, I'm like, just get a diaper on the kid and let's move on. I'm not as into matching them as I used to be. Um, not that the magic has worn off because I still love them. Uh, it's just that I'm not as crazy about them as I used to. I don't color coordinate. I don't put them in the little their little baskets uh, by the color of the rainbow. I'm just, as long as I can get a clean one on the kid, we are good to go. But the number one reason why we chose a cloth diaper was uh, the, the cost. And um, I am a bit of a glutton for punishment, so I was really excited just to challenge myself to see if I could do it. And I was really excited when it became just a regular routine of washing them and drying them, and it's actually become my favorite chore. <laughs> is folding and stuffing the cloth diapers. And so again, I don't know exactly how much we have spent. I have definitely wasted some money on some diapers that, um, not a lot, but I bought some diapers um, back when Caleb was little bitty that were cheap for a reason, and I'll go into this in other videos. And they didn't last me very long at all, like eight or nine months. And so I definitely wasted my money on those. But this is very much a live and learn <laughs> type, of, type of thing. You learn as you go. And if you want some, some really good information about cloth diapers in general, uh, what I would encourage you to do is to go to www.realdiaperassociation.com. And another website is www.fluff loveuniversity.com. You will learn more than you ever wanted to know through those websites. So I hope this has been helpful for you to see uh, maybe some of the reasons to go one way or another. Obviously, I'm going to lead toward cloth, but you know, I'm not one of these crazy people who thinks if you choose disposables that you're a bad mom or th that's ridiculous. But this is this is why we decided to go with cloth and what why it is working for us. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you would like to see all of my cloth 101. Uh, classes, videos, whatever you want to call it. And of course, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments. I definitely want to hear from you so I can have some material for future videos. So thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.